Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, hopefully you were with me on the last video and we changed some stuff for the for the player. We made this little weapon thingy going uh, or we got it going right here, weapon sprite, right? I did change some stuff. Um... But that was pretty much all we did. Now, what I want to do before we get started on the next part is I actually I want to change this because these things don't belong here. They be belong in the attribute component. And it's a very simple fix, but it's important. So gain EXP is already fine. It's only these three that we need. So I'm going to copy those and go into attribute component.h and I put it right above gain HP here. Okay. And I know I was talking before about how we don't want to have to copy all of these and blah 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 but it's it's kind of important because that's why we have attributes or uh sorry components because we don't want to copy code and we don't want to have to you know kind of do all of these checks in player we just want to call a simple function and it should work so <clears throat> for this to work we just copy those in from player control c instead of player we're going to put attribute component very simple and we're going to remove just about everything here like this uh wait there we go okay so we're just gonna remove this part right there we're gonna remove that part for every one of these because all we want is the hp to come in we want to do all the checks in attribute component and so i'm just gonna remove that whoops and that that so it's a little tedious but it's worth it once all this is done though, we won't have any more issues with this and we can do whatever we want in here and player won't be directly affected in that way. Uh, we don't have to do a lot of coding in here. <clears throat> we're still going to have these functions here. It's just that we're going to remove most of this. And instead of this, we're going to say uh, lose HP from attribute component. So we're going to use attribute components lose HP function. And this is going to be gain hp all right whoops like that okay just remove this see how we're not doing any checks in player anymore that's exactly what we want and lose whoops no that's not what i wanted exp sorry i can't really see my keyboard so sometimes i kind of fat finger everything I'm surprised i can even type there you go. Okay, I hate that shit. All right. So once that's done, should be fine. That's still a simple little fix I just wanted to do, and, and it's all good, all good. Now, the next part is going to be close all, but whoops. Okay, fine. You know what? That's fine. There we go. Remember, we have the visual weapon texture and weapon sprite here. Um, we're going to keep them here. I was thinking of making a new class for these, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll keep them here until... We try some stuff out and it's a very easy fix to send this over to a, its own class later. It's not going to be too hard. So we're just going to keep it here for now. One thing we need to change directly right now is the update function. And the update function should have a SF vector 2F reference to a mouse position. Because we're going to probably use that a lot. Now mouse plus view is what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to copy this. And it's going to complain in several areas, especially that player is now abstract because this pure virtual function has to look exactly like the one in player or the other way around, basically. And uh, yeah, we don't have a definition for it, so it's all good. Okay, done. All good. Also, these functions belong in player, not in entity. Um... So yeah, that's that. But we'll keep them here for now. You know, we'll do a little cleanup video later. We're kind of positioning it on the, in the center. That's perfectly fine. Now we have the mouse position of the view to uh, play around with as well. I'm just going to go ahead and open game state. Because we need to probably send that into the player as well. Here. Uh, this. Mouse. 
post view. Good shit. All right. Good to go. Good to go. The next step. Let's just try. Let's make sure this is running first. And am I recording? Yes. Okay. So if it's running, we're good to go. All right. Good to go. Now we have our weapon right here. All nice. All good. Next step is going to be to set the weapon's origin. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing it here. All right. I know it's it's ugly and it's bad. Visual weapon. I know it's really ugly and bad. But remember, we will move this into functions or and or uh, a, its own class later. So don't worry too much about it. This is just for testing purposes. This weapon sprite dot set origin. Um, this weapon sprite dot no it's one of these long ass functions okay sorry excuse me for my language feeling a little a little on edge today i got my pollen allergies kicking in so i got all these problems and height shout out to all those who have pollen allergies i'm sorry i feel your pain i'm with you on this but there you go best way to combat that is to code it's exactly what we're gonna do so we got the width and the height and we're gonna put it at the height but on the width divided by 2 dot f so it's gonna be on the center bottom so it's gonna be at the hilt almost at the hilt okay and that's nice that's beautiful very beautiful very very beautiful all right now now once that's done what are we going to do? We're going to go down and first of all, we're going to test it. So it's working because the origin only needs to be set once. And then it should be at the center of the player with the hilt right there. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Now, the next step is to kind of get the center, but put it at almost at the feet of the player. Okay, so the center dot X. Uh, this get center dot y dot y plus hmm or almost at the feet then we can just get position dot y is probably what we should be doing okay so there you go that should be good um once that's done, the position should be at the feet. Now we want to start rotating it. So, uh, update visual weapon. Okay. Now, to rotate it. Now, that's a good question. How do we rotate it? Um, we need two positions. We need the player position. So, wait. Float. Let's just do this. DX dx equals this weapon sprite dot get position dot x minus this or this should be the other way around I think uh, this mouse no just mouse pos view dot x minus this weapon all right so that's the difference in the x and we need to make a little triangle out of this so that's the difference in the y okay now to get the angle in between these we need to do float degrees equals a10 dx uh, all right, so I got it. Uh, all I had to do was just the pi. I forgot about that. I don't know why I forgot about that. It's dumb. But anyway, everybody makes mistakes. So you do dy dx a tan 2 multiplied by 100 divided by pi. This just converts it into uh, degrees, all right, from radians. And once that's done, we can rotate it using this thing. So this <clears throat> weapon sprite dot set rotation degrees simple 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 and if we run this maybe just maybe we'll get some type of rotation even if it doesn't work properly it will be some type of rotation all right now that does look weird but it's on his head as well 
which is very strange. Uh, I think that's because I did plus and not minus here. Uh, oh, get position Y. Um, plus. Get <clears throat> global bounds. Dot height. I'm guessing something like that. I don't know, whatever. As long as it's at the bottom there somewhere. Alright, so there you go. It's rotating. So it's something like what I wanted. You know, it's not exactly like what I wanted, but we could also we could keep it at the center actually just to see how that it, that looks. Probably looks a little better. Uh, on degrees plus 90. <clears throat> Let's try this. And maybe it should work. So now we're pointing the sword at the mouse. See that? So that looks kind of cool, I guess. It is working properly. Um, I don't know if that's what we want to do. But probably something like that at least. Probably something like that. And then I'll look into it. I'll, we can try it around. We can test all this stuff. Probably we'll want this in its own class later. I'll see how that feels. But for now, this this seems all right. It seems all right, and the weapon is is affected by the light and everything, so it's cool. We'll keep everything in player. Most probably, we're not gonna need this anymore. So let's just clean this up. All right, let's just clean that up so we don't get anything weird. Uh, if we attack, we're not gonna animate an attack really. So let me just remove that as well. So nothing really happens when you're attacking. I'm just gonna remove this. Wait, let me see. Is there any type of timer thing I removed? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's good though. That is good. Nice. Okay, all right. We'll we'll look into this later. I'll I'll make sure we can uh, kind of get a nice little swing on the weapon when we attack, and when that's done. Then we can, uh, yeah, then we'll we'll go from there, pretty much. I don't know if I'll add a animation component for that or just, you know, make it move a little bit with some kind of math. Uh, we'll look into it. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, it's going well for you. Uh, please check out the description box, as always. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And there you go. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.